Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned veteran, I'm going to share with you eight more resin casting tips and tricks. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure that you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button too in case you haven't already done so. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Resin Casting Tips and Tricks 2 8 More Ways to Make Your Day Sweeter Mixing up any kind of resin is messy. So what I like to do is wax the table. That way, if any resin spills out, I can easily just chip it off and it won't stick to the table and I can continue to have a flat surface. If you have a surface that you can't wax up or you don't want to wax up, I suggest using some wax paper. So I just buy a roll, lay it down underneath whatever I'm mixing up or working on, and that keeps my table nice and clean. Sometimes when I cast parts, I don't estimate the right amount of resin required and I have extra. I make sure I pour it into a clean container and I have these resin blanks. And if I need to make a little plastic part, they're perfect for machining stuff. One of the ways that I eliminate air bubbles or air pockets in my parts is by tipping the tool. I inject the resin in the lower part of the mold here on the left. Any trapped air will be carried out into the high area and should be eliminated from the part. When you cast parts in a pressure tank, you often need to have excess additional volume of resin because that resin gets compressed. And I use straws to help me build an additional reservoir to pull up some resin. So that way when it goes into the tank, that resin can be compressed down and it won't be short inside the part. So here you can see the resin flowing up through the straws. When it gets to the top, I'll stop and I'll pressure cast my part and when it comes out, there'll be still a tiny bit of resin left in there. Sometimes you'll have a resin that is really thick. So in a way to thin that down is to get one of these little miniature potpourri crock pots. Yes, this will speed up the curing time of your resin, but sometimes those resins are so thick you can't get them out and they're almost too thick to mix up. So I can warm the resin in this pot and if your container doesn't fit in there, you may need to use like a little mixing cup, in this case a yogurt container, to do that. Alternately, if you have resin that is setting up too quickly, you can cool your resin in the freezer and lower the temperature of that resin. And that will prolong your working time. It will make it a little bit thicker, but it'll give you a little bit of extra time. Now, additional thing that I want to encourage, it's not a tip, is experimentation. You know what? Have some fun. Here, I'm trying to add some ink from an ink pen to my resin in an effort to figure out if I can get some free coloring pigment. Now, the experiment doesn't turn out the way I think it's going to turn out. I get this kind of speckled effect. So perhaps if I was trying to recreate like a granite effect, this would be a great thing that I've stumbled upon. My number one tip is sand weights. So when you have extra resin laying around, sometimes left over from a project, you just don't know what to do with it. I mix in some sand with it and then I dump that into a coffee cup and I get a free weight. Or sometimes your resin has expired and you can't use it for a project anymore. Just be careful on this. The sand often has a lot of moisture and it will expand. You'll see I'll fill it up to the top of this container right here and then I'll pressure cast it and it will still have expanded. That's from the moisture that's in the sand. Even though I dried the sand out, it's still expanded above the top of this. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, 
and Google Plus. Rock on. Click here to watch some of the other design and making videos that I have. If you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, drop me a line. Ha, 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 ha.